My name is Jacqueline Munekatete. I am 20 years old and I'm currently a student at New York University. I'm originally from Rwanda. I had lived um, a comfortable life and just like any other nine-year-old child, I had goals and dreams. But life changed dramatically when we woke up to the news that uh, our president uh, had been killed. We started hearing the Hutu extremists on radio uh, dehumanizing Tutsis and inciting Hutus everywhere to start killing Tutsis. One morning, I remember being uh, woken up by a loud uh, banging on the door. And uh, in a matter of uh, minutes, uh, my grandmother and I had a group of about six or seven men armed with bloody machetes uh, standing right in front of us. My grandmother and I thought that um, that was going to be the end of us. And uh, I remember shaking and I really, it's not really a feeling um, that you can describe, um, the type of feeling that you have when you know that this might be your last day on earth. So my grandmother told me um, to go and he, she told me that um, everything will be fine and that uh, she'll come back for me in a matter of few days and we'll go back and we'll go and we'll see my parents and my siblings and uh, my friends. I was told by um, uh, my cousin that uh, one day during the genocide, uh, my Hutu neighbors, they had come to my house and they had taken my parents and my six siblings to a nearby river where they proceeded to butcher them with machetes. I didn't understand how a few months before I had been a child going to school with goals and dreams. Now I was being told that I was an orphan and that my parents had been butchered by none other than my neighbors. It is a great honor that people are realizing how important it is that survivors uh, share their stories and that share uh, their stories especially with young people who will be the leaders of uh, tomorrow.